Oh my gosh, you've probably already seen Hillary's amazing mad scientist video, which here at PsyQ we loved so much. And it made us ask, like there's so many Republican candidates out there that have denied climate change or man-made climate change at least. So we wondered who is actually the worst presidential candidate when it comes to science. So this is a PsyQ investigation of the 2016 presidential candidates on both sides to find the absolute worst offender when it comes to science. Well, it was a very long list of candidates that are anti-science, unfortunately, but we managed to narrow it down to our favorite top four anti-science candidates. Number four on the list was Governor Rick Perry. The Texan governor is a climate change skeptic and has also accused scientists of manipulating data. Side notes, Governor Perry, this is NASA's satellite image over the North Pole and you can see the shrinking of the ice caps over time. It's pretty damn difficult to manipulate satellite imagery, so I don't really understand what you're talking about. Rick Perry also believes in intelligent design and said in a 2010 interview, he believed that intelligent design should be taught to all children alongside the theory of evolution. Bless. Number three is our PsyQ favorite candidate, Donald Trump. We even did a whole video on him. Click here if you would like to watch the science behind Donald Trump's popularity. Our Don got his special place on the list for trying to block doctors who had gone to Ebola infected areas to help the crisis from coming back into America. He said doctors that go to help are great, but they have to deal with the consequences. He also claims to know at least two children who've become autistic after getting vaccinated, despite the fact that the link between vaccinations and autism has been thoroughly disproven over decades of research. And he gets a special anti-science thumbs up for thinking that unusually cold weather somehow disproves climate change. Donald Trump may be Psyche's favorite candidate, but Marco Rubio is my personal favorite. He is the chair of the Senate subcommittee for the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, basically the people who measure the air and the water. And yet he claims I'm not a scientist to get out of everything from evolution to climate change. In 2014, Rubio said, I do not believe that human activity is causing these dramatic changes to our climate the way that scientists are portraying it, which is funny because he's the boss of the climate scientists. And not everyone on the list is a Republican. Bernie Sanders makes the list for once claiming that more female orgasms were the key to avoiding cervical cancer. This hipster favorite once tried to pass an amendment to allow the forced labeling of genetically modified foods by state governments. He said, we just don't know that much about genetically modified food, which is funny because that goes against the advice of the American Medical Association. Nice try, Sanders, nice try. So what do you think? Who is your favorite anti-science presidential candidate? Let us know in the comments below and we will reveal all in a future video. Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching PsyQ and we know you don't want to miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.